now let me move on to the highlight of the evening. MEI has honored and supported leaders, innovators, and philanthropists from the region for nearly a decade now. Uh, MEI launched the Visionary Award in 2009 and added a second award, the Esam Ferris Award, for excellence in 2011, thanks to a generous gift from the Ferris family. And we're very pleased to have with us tonight Nijad Ferris and his wife Zaina. Would you please stand? <laughs> Go ahead. Didn't you buy one of those last year? You did, didn't you? you yeah, I won't. But thank you, thank you for last year. Dick Clark is very grateful. Um, this award ceremony has served to recognize the US, in the US Capitol the invaluable work of the region's cultural leaders, entrepreneurs, educators, and philanthropists, and to show MEI's appreciation for their hard work and their efforts in building stronger communities and societies. Last year, MEI recognized Her Excellency Huda al Kamis Kanu, founder of the Abu Dhabi Music and Arts Foundation for her work dedicated to arts, education, and women's empowerment. And she was just a masterpiece. She was an amazing uh, uh, force to have there. MEI also recognized the American University of Beirut, for serving higher learning in the Middle East and beyond. Presenting this year's Visionary Award to Layla and Othman Benjaloon is Brian Henderson. Brian is the founding partner of Henderson International Advisors and vice chairman on MEI's Board of Governors. He, was devo he has devoted over 43 years to the international and domestic financial services in industry. And by the way, before we uh, break for dinner, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just invite Brian Henderson. Please join us up here. Brian. Good evening, everybody, and uh, thank you very much. Uh, this is the first time that I've had the pleasure of coming here to this event and to be on this podium. And so it's a particularly special occasion for me and a very special honor indeed to present this, I'll call it a conjugal awardees here. And very seldom do we have a husband and wife team to be able to present an award. But it is my distinct honor and personal pleasure to introduce tonight's awardees, a uniquely visionary and accomplished power couple. My dear friends, Dr. Leila Mizian Benjaloun and her husband, Othman Benjaloun. And I hope you will bear with me because since there are two awardees, I do not want to uh, do anything less than proper justice to both and therefore to them as a couple as well. So bear with me in terms of the time I'm gonna be taking to do this correctly. I have known Othman since the mid 90s when I was at the Merrill Lynch at the time, and when the Kingdom of Morocco was just beginning to tap the global capital markets. We are extraordinarily and enormously proud to confer the MEI Visionary Award to Leila Notman as they truly exemplify the highest standards which this award represents. Otman and Leila, Otman is founder and Leila is chair of the BMCE Bank Foundation. Through the foundation, the Benjaloons are primarily committed to education as a vehicle for sustainable development, not only in Morocco, but throughout the African continent. The foundation builds and supports schools, environmental programs to build more prosperous rural communities, including those among the Amazigh people, the original inhabitants of North Africa. Emphasis is placed on language including the Amazigh language, along with the French, English, Spanish, and, as was mentioned by Paul, Chinese. Leila is by profession an ophthalmologist with a degree from the University of Barcelona. She practiced for over 26 years in Moroccan public hospitals, as well as in her own private clinic. She is president of the Alawite Organization for the Protection of the Blind and the Moroccan Red Crescent. She has served as Vice President of the Association of Doctors in Morocco. In addition to chairing the Banks Foundation, 
Layla is president of the Benjaloon Mizian Foundation, which provides support in restoring national monuments and granting scholarships to Moroccan students worldwide. And for those of you who have visited Morocco, you will probably see a number of these monuments that have been restored by the efforts of Leila Benjaloun and her husband. She has received many awards, including Officer of the Order of the Throne of the Kingdom of Morocco, Officer of the Arts and Letters of the French Republic, the 2013 WISE Award of the Qatar World Innovation Summit on Education, and together with her husband, they received the David Rockefeller Bridging Leadership Award. Watman is an internationally acclaimed leader in finance, industry, and corporate re social responsibility. As chairman and CEO of BMC Bank of Africa, pre with presence in 31 countries, including 20 in Africa, he has contributed tirelessly to the economic, social, and environmental development, not only in Morocco, but also in Africa. Among its social responsibility efforts, the bank created the African Entrepreneurship Award, which supports innovators who are increasing employment and prosperity in their own countries. And if running a multinational bank of over $34 billion in assets were not enough, Otman is also chairman and CEO of Financecom, a holding company in the financial transport, technology, insurance, and telecommunications sectors. The list of his extraordinary accomplishments and recognition include President of the Professional Association of Moroccan Banks for the last 24 years. He is an international counselor and honorary trustee of the Center for Strategic International Studies, CSIS. He is chancellor of the al Ahwayan University, supported by the late King of Morocco, Hassan II. Commander of the throne of the Kingdom of Morocco. Commander of the Order of the Arts of the French Republic. Commander of the Royal Swedish Order of the Polar Star, and Commander of the Order National du Lyon of the Senegalese Republic. And finally, Encomenda de Número de la Orden de Isabel la Católica of the Kingdom of Spain. We will now be showing a brief video describing their foundation and where their accomplishments. And I must add that this documentary, as it was mentioned before, was directed and produced by their daughter, Le Dunya, who is gracing us here as well this evening. So with that, if I may ask for the video to be shown, and afterwards I will ask both Leila and Otman to please come to the podium. Chairman Clark, President Salem, Excellence, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bezalun and I, we are deeply honored to receive this award from the Middle East Institute the evening before such a prestigious gathering. We have a responsibility as well as being extremely fortunate to have overseen for almost 20 years a program to build and manage rural community schools in every region of Morocco and in five African countries, Senegal, Mali, Congo, Brazzaville, Rwanda, and soon Djibouti. Each day, when we look into the eyes of our contented school children, what is tangible is the fundamental good that comes from being able to provide them with a high quality education, inspired by a strong set of principles that are rooted in a sense of local community as well as an openness of the world beyond. This sense of openness is achieved through teaching our country's official language. 
Berber and Arabic as well as foreign languages like French, Mandarin, Chinese, and soon Spanish and English. It is also achieved through the use of technology, interactive whiteboards and computers and classroom in deliver the curriculum and it also means familiarizing our children with robots. The impact of our endeavors is clearly perceptible in the highly successful academic result achieved by children extending foundation school when they make the transition from primary to the secondary school. The impact is equally perceptible in the number of former people who go to a higher educate, education despite the fact that they come from remote and poor regions. <coughs> That it in itself, ladies and gentlemen, is a source of in, in, immeasurable reward for us. We also take satisfaction from the mutually beneficial relation and the productive partnership that we have fostered for nearly 20 years with Moroccan Ministry of National education. We are fortunate that to have the support of a large Pan-African group, BMC Bank of Africa group, and of its chairman, my husband, as well as the commitment behind the chairman of the group, Human Resources, who regularly express their pride in the impact made by the Foundation Initiative and as the case today in the recognition given. The decision of BMC Bank of Africa Board of Directors, ratified by the annual general meeting of shareholders to annually commit up to 4% of the group's tax profit to this corporate social responsibility initiative is absolutely invaluable. We would like to thank Chairman Clark, President Salem, and members of the Middle East Institute for having chosen us for this visionary award. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> And now, Mr. Chairman <clears throat> Othman Ben Jaloun would say a few words. I will uh, reinf reinforce something that uh, Leila mentioned, and that is that uh, the bank contributes up to 4% of its revenue every year to help fund the foundation. So when you think of new and potential ways in which we can learn from how others are doing things to help fund through social public-private partnerships uh, for other endeavors, not only just education. It's really quite a special uh, arrangement from a for-profit and listed bank in a country like Morocco. So please, Mr. Chairman. Merci. Chairman Clark, President Salem, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we are deeply honored to receive the Visionary Award from the most prestigious think tank specializing in Middle Eastern affairs. We are all the more touched since the title of this award bears a qualifier that is dear to us, visionary. Pan-African multinational institutions like ours have a responsibility to carry out philanthropic initiative as an integral part of their corporate social responsibility and their strategic vision. They must lead by example, show the way in what needs to be done to tackle the key issues of a country. 
It is our belief that education forms the head rock of every culture and every civilization. We also believe that education should take root at its very source in early childhood. And that is why BMC Bank Foundation has established a program of building and managing rural schools in Morocco and in Africa. The other cause to which we have been committed for more than a quarter of a century is the environment because our biodiversity is threatened. Climate change has become a global reality with potentially devastating effects for the planet. We are proud that one of the seven Pan-African banking group has now earned the recognition of some of the top names in philanthropy and social conscience, including the think tank, as well as the Rockefeller Foundation, which three years ago awarded us the Bridging Leadership Leadership Award. We were awarded not because of our group's commercial or financial strategy and performance, but rather as a tribute to the sense it has given to finance. Ladies and gentlemen, we are also proud that this award puts our country of Morocco under the spotlight. We spoke about this with President Salem when he visited us in Casablanca. Morocco deserves to be better known by the members of the Middle East Institute and by the wider Washington community. They need to know the history of a country which is thousands of years of age the history of the first country to acknowledge the United States as an independent nation in 1777. The history of a country in hued with a spirit of tolerance, whose civilization and people are constituted from a melting pot of cultures, African, Andalusian, Arab and Berber, a country whose sovereign is one of the most enlightened leaders among emerging countries and who over two decades has significantly transformed his country's economy and reputation, its appeal and its influence on the international stage. It is for all the above reasons, Chairman Clark, President Salem, ladies and gentlemen, that we dedicate the visionary award to His Majesty King Mohammed VI, who is a great visionary. We dedicate also to our immediate family, our daughter Dunya, who is here today, our son Kamal, and to our professional family, the tens of thousands of employees of BMC Bank of Africa Group. We also dedicate this visionary award to the citizens of Morocco, a country that we invite you to visit and get to know a little better, a country that for almost 250 years has been a faithful and reliable ally of the United States. Thank you.